Hello, welcome to the Microsoft Intune for Education Deployment Workshop. My name is Chris Kunze. I'm a program manager for the Intune for Education product group. This is module three, Intune for Education Setup and Configuration. In this module, I'm going to introduce the requirements for managing Windows devices and iPads in Intune for Education. After that, I will walk you through the Apple setup and configuration and Express configuration. In this module, we will discuss the setup and configuration of Intune for Education. Before we begin, there are a few requirements that we need to discuss. First of all, an Intune license is absolutely required for every user. It is also recommended that you have an Office 365 for Education license. Optionally, there are a few Azure Active Directory tools you may need. If you want to connect and synchronize your on-prem Active Directory to Azure Active Directory, you will need a tool called Azure Active Directory Connect. If you are already using Office 365, it is very likely that you already have this installed and configured. As discussed in Module 2, you can use School Data Sync to sync information from your school information system to Azure Active Directory. For Windows 10, you are required to be at version 1709 or higher. There are a couple tool sets that can be downloaded from the Microsoft Store that will help us with the enrollment of Windows devices. One is called Setup School PCs, and there's a sister program called Windows Configuration Designer. These programs will be discussed further in the enrollment module. If you want to manage iPads, you're required to have iOS version 11 or higher or iPadOS 13 or higher. In addition, you will need to set up a connection between Intune and Apple with an MDM push certificate. We also have the ability to set up an Apple ADE token and one or more Apple VPP tokens to use with this environment. I will now walk you through the Apple setup and configuration in Intune for Education. Before enrolling and managing iOS devices in Intune for Education, I need to set up a few connections between Intune and Apple. To set up these connections, I will go to Tenant Settings, and under iOS Device Management, I'll select Overview. Here you will see three steps that you complete to manage iOS devices. The first thing I need to do is set up an MDM push certificate. This sets up a link between your Intune account and school Apple ID so Intune can talk to your iOS devices. Click Configure. The first step is to download a certificate from Intune. This certificate is used to upload in the Apple Push Certificates portal to create an MDM Push Certificate. Once you download the certificate, click the link to go to the Apple Push Certificates portal. Once signed into this portal, click Create a Certificate, agree to the terms of use, select the certificate you downloaded from Intune, and click Upload. Once the new push certificate is successfully created, click the download button. Go back to the Intune for Education portal, enter the Apple ID you used to log into the Apple push certificates portal. This will help you remember the account used to create the certificate when you need to renew it. Select the MDM push certificate you just created, grant Microsoft permissions to send user and device information to Apple, click save, and now it is possible for Intune to communicate with your iOS devices. Back on the overview page, my next step is to set up the connection between Apple and Microsoft to allow devices in Apple School Manager, or ASM, to be enrolled and managed in Intune. Under Setup Enrollment Program Token, click Configure. Intune can manage devices where users sign in with their managed Apple IDs, or it can manage userless devices. I need userless shared devices, so I choose Anyone Can Unlock These Devices and click Setup Enrollment Token. I want to differentiate devices enrolled with this token, so I will enter a name that will prepend all the iOS devices enrolled with this token. To establish the connection, I need to start by downloading the Intune public key to upload to ASM. This key is required to create an enrollment program token. Click on the link to go to the MDM servers in ASM. After logging into ASM, 
Click Add MDM Server. Enter the name for the MDM server and choose the file you have downloaded from Intune. Click Save and download the token from the newly created MDM server. Back in Intune, I have the opportunity to go back to ASM to assign devices to the MDM server. This can also be completed later, so I will skip it for now. Enter the Apple ID used to sign into ASM so you remember it later. Select the token downloaded from the MDM server configuration. Grant Microsoft permission to send user and device information to Apple and click Save. The enrollment program token has been successfully created. Now there is a connection between ASM and Intune that will allow Intune to know about the iOS devices. The third step is optional, but recommended. If you use the Apple Volume Purchase Program, or VPP, to purchase iOS apps, this step needs to be completed for Intune to install apps on the managed iOS devices. Click Configure in the VPP pane. I will skip naming my VPP token, but if you have many VPP tokens, naming them will help you keep track of them. Click the link to go to the Apple School Manager Settings. In Settings, Apps and Books, find your location and download the token. Return to Intune for Education. Enter the Apple ID used to sign into ASM. Select the VPP token we just downloaded and choose the United States for your region. I choose to keep the iOS apps associated with this token up to date. Finally, I need to grant Microsoft permission to send user and device information to Apple and I'll click Save. The VPP token has now been added to Intune so we'll be able to centrally purchase iOS apps and push them with Intune. With that, all the steps to manage iOS devices, settings, and apps in Intune are completed. The quickest way to start managing devices in Intune for Education is Express Configuration. Express Configuration will provide an intuitive GUI to assign applications and a subset of commonly used settings to a group of devices. Let's walk through it now. From the dashboard, click Express Configuration. The first time you use Express Configuration, It'll give you the opportunity to get information about your school, have you choose a group to set up, and will allow you to choose which apps you want to install and which settings you want to apply to this group. If you have not previously configured the Microsoft Store for Education, it will be configured now. This might take a couple of minutes, so I'll skip forward to the next step. The configuration of the Microsoft Store for Education is now complete. School Data Sync, or SDS, was discussed in the last module. At this point, we're not going to do anything with SDS, so I will continue to set up Intune for Education. Now I need to select the group that I'm going to apply the settings and applications to. I will expand Ivory Elementary School, select the group with the name Students of Ivory Elementary School, and click Next. For this demo, I'm going to select Microsoft Office, Fresh Paint, Minecraft, and Microsoft Edge to be installed to this group. In addition, I can apply web apps or iOS apps the same way. Click Next to choose the settings to apply to this group now. I will expand Accounts and Sign-In and configure the preferred Azure Active Directory tenant domain. In addition, I will apply a custom lock screen and custom desktop image. I'll paste the URLs to those images. I can also set iOS settings from Express Configuration. So I will set the lock screen and wallpaper for iOS devices as well. I'm now given the opportunity to review the settings. I will review them and click Done. At this point, all the apps and settings have been configured for this group, 
and will start being applied to the users and devices in this group. I have no further groups to configure, so I'll click All Done to get back to the dashboard. To recap, in this module, we started by discussing the requirements for Intune for Education. Then we demonstrated setting up Intune to manage iPad settings and applications. Finally, we demonstrated the unique and simple setup called Express Configuration. For more information, there are links included on this slide. The next module is Module 4, Managing Settings, where we will go into more depth on managing settings for Windows and iPads in Intune for Education and the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center.